Oh, shit. Developing. Get right into the news. Okay. Sunday threatens another person's credentials uh, and education because they don't hold the position he wants them to. Remember, he went after myself and Pisco Liddy with similar intent. Okay. All right. Send to me, Max. Uh, this is the problem with pathetic people with nothing to lose. Okay. All right. I'm gonna... This... This motherfucker blocked me! How could you block me? Fuck off. So if you guys don't know who Sunday is, Sunday is a leftist content creator who uh, is a bread tuber and um, he's controversial. Let's just say that he's controversial. All right. He's controversial for kind of going after people in real life, digging into people. All right. Doing all sorts of things. He admitted before about going after a professor in real life as well and trying to get a university to investigate that person. And he has a history of kind of, you know, um, calling up universities and shit. So that's what, he, that's what he does. So anyhow, I guess this is Abby Bitterman. Look up Kyle's review. Sorry, not playing 21 questions. What is the context of this? What's the context of this? So you haven't any, so what? Exactly, not interested in playing 21 questions with you. You're not a person worth my time to engage with. The only reason I'm doing this now is because I said I would, says Avi. So Avi, by the way, if you guys don't know, there's a person who is apparently a person with a PhD. This guy is a hardcore Zionist, all right? <laughs> Very hardcore Zionist and um, kind of fucking cringe, all right? Kind of fucking cringe, but apparently he debated Sunday recently. They're both cringe, but Avi might be a little bit more cringe just off of um, his demeanor and stuff. He's like a fucking word salad. He's like a fucking walking word salad. All right. You're not pretty worth my time to engage with. The only reason I'm doing this now is because I said I would. Hey, Connor Sniffer, we're going to, hey, Connor Sniffer, you got gifted. Constant, we got gifted a membership. Congratulations. So what's going to happen, Abby, is when this is done, I'm going to be inquiring about reporting bodies because you're using your MD stats as a dermatologist, no less, to voice their ethnically motivated genocide apology. And we have to clear tweets to that effect to showcase this. Good luck with that. I think it will be interesting, at least. I thought you weren't interested in a back and forth. You're still going. Not really. I'm familiar with the rules of said bodies, but I'm glad I have your intentions on screenshot so I can show the world the justification for avoiding people like you. Best wishes. Um, not entirely sure what the context is here. So Sunday has a problem. So Sunday has a problem with Avi using his status as a MD to what? Boister his uh, Israel beliefs. Sunday hates me and has tried to cancel me, but I love him. It's a one-way relationship. I have beefed with Sunday before on Twitter, very briefly, multiple times. Hello. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Uh, Dr. Avi has been basically making charts that show relative risk of, I think, civilian death in Gaza compared to being a soldier and has shown it in comparison to other known genocides, other known battles to basically show that Israel is um, being, to some extent, careful with not killing civilians or at least that's what the data would portray. Okay. Um, and President Sunday does not like that. Why does he not like that? Because 
President Sunday believes that there is an ethnic cleansing and or genocide happening in Gaza and that Israel is committing atrocities and that basically um, they had a really, really, really deep pedantic debate. So I know I'm going to misphrase this, but I don't care. So deal with it you guys was he doesn't like that it basically is a form of basically propaganda trying to moral uh cover for the moral atrocities of israel to demonstrate that they're discriminating between citizens uh, sorry civilians versus military he sees it as a form of not justifying but uh demonstrating that there's not basically there's nothing wrong there right like oh civilians are dying but it looks like they're trying not to kill civilians Okay. I would I would imagine I would imagine that like if Avi creates a chart and Sunday has a problem with that, then Sunday it's up to Sunday to kind of you know demonstrate that the chart is wrong, but not to go after Avi, right? Yeah, like, Sunday personally. did not. There's like some numerical because everything's estimates, so you could question the estimates, but I don't think people attacked him for that. Um, Sunday, yeah, just didn't like it. Also, relative risk is generally used for medical studies. So this is a somewhat novel application of the, the Wait, thing. Max, Max, Max. If you Max, if you think that a cat is wrong, get in voice chat. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, continue. If it's wait, f food shops, other food shops, Max. If no, it's Max, so simple, it's, it's I look forward to a yeah. one I look forward to a one sentence summary. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be super simple. Um, but yeah, so as a medical, it's usually used for medical things. So basically being a doctor and do, using a medical principle to apply to the um, chart. Uh, I guess Sunday now is trying to make a claim that uh, Dr. Avi is using his being a medical doctor to lend credence to an ethnic genocide or uh, sorry, an ethnic cleansing or a genocide, which is immoral. So he's going to start going to like the medical body or something to try to attack him from that avenue. Is he, so is he, he can't win in the calling... marketplace of ideas? So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not jump to that yet. Is that, is it true that Sunday is actually um, calling up the fucking medical board on Avi? Is it? I mean, I don't know if it's true, but I just have the Discord logs that you saw. So where okay. uh, Sunday heavily so, implies that. I'm going to be inquiring about reporting bodies because you're using your MD status as a dermatologist, no less, to voice their ethnically motivated genocide apology. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, if he's calling up his fucking medical board for for something like this i don't think that's okay but is there is there actually um you know i guess clips out there of avi kind of going around and using his degree to kind of boister his um credibility in this instance like is that allowed is that not allowed i don't know what it is i feel like if he were it, it, so i have not seen clips so i don't know they had a very long debate, a very long debate of uh, President Sunday and Dr. Avi on, do you know the Ask Yourself server? No. It's um, it's the purest, most distilled form of debate bro server, basically. Okay. Um, but it, yeah, it was extremely drawn out. I had stopped paying attention. But I mean, I think Dr. Avi... Um, I don't know what the ethics of this is. My feeling is if he used his medical thing to say that his calculations are correct because he understands what relative risk is, I think that would probably be fine. Um, to say whether as a medical professional, like to speak outside of his field might be improper. To say something like, oh, the death estimates are correct. And I know that's because I'm a doctor because obviously that's not his uh, domain of knowledge. I'm not going to lie, okay? I'm going to be very plain here. I don't like Avi. I do like Avi. Um, however, so. however, I don't think that anybody should have their, um, you know, have their thing gone after in real life either. I don't think that's okay. Yeah. Also, when it's not... I can understand certain things, right? I, when you're... If, yeah, when, when if you're Dr. Avi was board, giving... That's kind of going... Yeah. You're kind of creating a precedence of going after somebody offline, right? Yeah, like, if Dr. Avi thing. was using yeah. his medical license and his medical profession to give medical misinformation that would lead to 
harms. I think that's like a fine thing to go after. If he's saying, listen, I'm a doctor. The best cure for cancer is arsenic. You should just drink a lot of, ar-. I'd be like, you know what? You can go after his license, but because he's making a chart, I don't know. That's like, so. Yeah. And know. he's not, he's not saying like, oh, as a dermatologist, I am making a chart, right? Like he's just simply making a chart and that's it. Right? Like he's not, he's not saying, oh yeah, you should trust me because I'm a dermatologist. You should trust me because I'm a doctor. Like he's not he's not saying that, right? Is he? Uh, I I don't I have not watched the entire streams of him, so could he have said that? Sure. Um I feel like I'm it would have been brought up, but I could be wrong. I don't see everything. Um yeah. so Max, I understand your assessment and that that is what I said. I said that the underlying data can be debated, but the calcul I don't think anyone's attacked his like numerical. No, 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 like, it's it's not it's not about the debate disagreements, more about like, uh, it's just not okay to go after someone's fucking career. Right. That was going to say is like the issue Max I see is like, what is the like moral and ethical and reasonable, rational, like logical chain of, uh, Dr. Avi made this chart. Therefore I must attack Dr. Avi's medical license because he did, potentially bad underlying data for his calculation. Okay. I mean, it seems as though this is the only thing that I see and, you know, that's about it, but, um, yep. Anyway, really attacking medical else. license is an L unless there's some wild clip of Dr. Avi that I have not been made aware of, which could exist, but I haven't seen it. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, again, I don't, reason. again, yep. I don't like crazy lefties trying to take down someone in real life, um, and making them lose their job or something. Even if you are going to call, um, even if you're going to call up someone's board or whatever, um, I don't think that's, um, yeah. I don't think that's okay. I think e even, even if it doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. I think at the end of the day, Sunday, if you have really good proof that he's misusing data, uh, show your alternative chart that disproves his chart or explain why the chart is inaccurate i don't think you need to attack his medical license that seems um yeah it just seems weak sure win also, in the marketplace of ideas also phobia says i don't know i'm gonna be honest if you're defending an ethnic cleansing take the career away zionism is cringe no that's a terrible president to set and you know that It's all content. If you're making content, you have to handle every contingency. I don't think, I think content should be drawing at the line of, okay, if you're going after somebody offline, right? This is, again, this is why uh, Surefat Taku or Dev refuses to interact with Sunday is because Sunday might pull some shit like this on them. Yeah, I think it leads to an overall chilling effect of the space because people aren't willing to express their ideas because they're like, this is a hot, most most people who go on panels are not making an income that's sufficient to be a full-time job. So they're just going to not go on those panels because they don't want to lose their actual full-time job. Sure. Also, Coniston says those boards exist to take calls from Sundays. Uh, nice. But the thing is, is that... I mean, he's not... Sunday... What? Entire... Content server is not entirely wrong. I'm sure. Uh... Yeah, no, no, they exist. So then you are able to file an official complaint. But the thing is, is yeah. that like, obviously it's not really good of a precedence for content creators to, oh yeah, now you, because you're big mad at somebody because of a debate, or you think that you have some kind of justified reasoning to do so, then you're going to yeah. go after someone's career in real life. Like, like on here's the flip the thing, side, right? I would yeah, ask but... Sunday if he's okay with the cars that went with billboards or I think digital TVs that drove around college campuses showing the faces of students who uh, didn't support Israel. Like, is that how you want to set the precedent of just everything's fine? Because it, yeah, I don't know. It's a, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say this much, right? Like, um, like for example, would you say that what if somebody with a career is supporting Gamergate and then you're an anti-Gamergate person were to go, you know what? I'm going to call you up. I'm going to call up your job because I don't think what you're doing is okay. Um, because I don't think what you're doing is ethical. Like they're kind of twisting their reasoning to kind of fit that narrative and to go, you know what? You supporting Gamergate is antithetical to the ethics of your job. Then therefore, then therefore if it's it, like, 
yeah, that's not okay. I just don't think that's okay. If it legitimately uh, undermines yeah. your field and could actually lead to potential harm, then I think you're justified. But yeah, just because I don't like it um, is not um, sufficient. And, and the harm has to be relevant to the actual field, I feel. Like, he as a doctor is giving bad medical information, like information or bad. He says, like, you know, when a woman comes in, I just don't listen to her because fuck, you know, like what, like, you know what, that you could report him for because that sounds like he's making public statements about how he sure, runs his yeah, business. Sure, but, but, but this just sounds patients. like, yeah, but this just sounds like Sunday molding over like, oh no. Yes, what I, Sunday is saying is, is silly. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, it just sounds like he's molding over, um, again, Israel and Palestine, again, dead baby, this dead baby, that's like, who cares? I don't know. Yeah. And, and I, 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 don't, I don't mean this in the sense of like, I don't care about dead babies. I just mean this in the sense of like, it is like a very Sunday thing to kind of fixate on something that he perceives as an absolute moral evil, and he will d use any means to destroy anybody who is in support of that evil or that that he perceives to be something yeah. bad. It comes it comes across as ends justify the means, and basically. it's great. And I guess it's like great content whenever somebody is trying to destroy another person's career, but. You're ultimately, again, you're creating a precedence where you feel as though you're justified in chasing creators out of the space because you don't like them. Yep. And then, um, you know, that's anti-content, actually. It's not good for content. Yeah, but even from a um, moral standpoint, or if you want that, if you want to convince people that your take is correct, you should be trying to convince people that your take is correct. The idea that just getting Dr. Avi to lose his medical license is going to yield your end goal of more people wanting to stop the Israeli uh, war on Gaza. That That's so, I, I, I can't perceive of how you can rationally think it's going to make a major impact that it's worth destroying the job over. Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. We're circling anyway. the drain now. Yeah. True. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, cool. Yeah, no idea what's going to happen here, but we'll see, I guess. Um, I'm going to be honest, okay? Obviously, I don't like this guy. I, I actually think that... <laughs> I'll say this much, okay? I actually think Dr. Avi is anti-content. Whenever I see Dr. Avi, I'll roast him this way, okay? Whenever I see Dr. Avi on any kind of call on any kind of debate, on any kind of whatever, this guy is like the fucking, um, oh God, what, what other anti-content people are out there? Um, Fabian Liberty. This guy is like the Fabian Liberty of Israel and Palestine. <laughs> What's your opinion on India? The fuck? Why would I have an opinion on India at all? I guess it has brown people. <clears throat> yeah, um, Avi, Avi has a tendency to kind of ramble forever on and on. Very boring person. Very tiresome. I find them drastically annoying, irritating. Ugh. There is no group with more power in medical boards than Jewish foot. Okay, stop. Chill. Is that the therapist guy who's psych avows streamers live, or am I thinking of someone else? You're thinking of Dr. K. You're thinking of Dr. K, and, you know, I think um, Dr. K has his own problems. But... Okay, what the fuck? Okay, President Sunday posted this. We're, we're, we're like we're like kind of intermixing Twitter drama right now. That's what we're doing. All right. He ran, says President Sunday. What is that being Sunday? So ask yourself. Um, oh, this is a this is a DM group. Okay, this is a DM group. I don't fucking I don't fucking care. I don't need your clout. I couldn't care less about what you think I look like. Okay, I'm gonna assume someone tried to diss food shops. I was like, uh, food has way more viewers than my failed online blog, Lamau. Wait, what? 
<laughs> Wait, what's the context there? Give me the content. Give it to me. Who, how, how did they try to dis? How did they try to dis? Okay. Okay, Sunday has a, Sunday has a tendency to insult people's appearances because he's very, um, he's very 2014, 2015 minded. Okay. But listen, this guy used to be a Sargon fan. Okay. I can't blame him. You see PS singing WAP, it's a... Uh, didn't, didn't he... Wasn't he just, like, simply seriously reading it out? Wasn't he just reading it out and that's it? I don't fucking care. I don't need your clout. That said, you're doing this under your MD title, no? I can't care less about what you look like. Wait, what the fuck? I don't, I don't think Avi mentioned clout here. I don't think Avi mentioned clout here, no? Clout, lol, yeah. Sorry, not playing 21 questions. You haven't answered any, so what? Sunday says, okay, this is the same exact thing. And then Sunday is being so upset that he says, so what's going to happen, Abby, is when this is done, I'm going to be inquiring about reporting bodies because you're rep using your MD status as a dermatologist unless to boister ethnically motivated genocide apology. <laughs> here's the thing, okay? All right, here's the thing. If you're going to say something about... If... If Avi is actually using his title again, is Avi actually if Avi is actually using his title to boister his credibility, then yeah, of course that's unethical. I think of course that's something to be worried about. But uh, like, if he just happens to be a dermatologist, and separate from that, he happens to have takes that present Sunday disagree with, then I don't know. That's kind of on Sunday. Grace Thorpe sending a bunch of degenerates over, especially that guy Ride. Well. I hope she has a fun time with that orgy. Um, I think it'll be interesting at least. I thought you weren't interested in that back and forth. You're still going. I think it's not really unfamiliar with the rule of said bodies. I'm glad I have your intentions on screenshot so I can show the world the justification for avoiding people like you. Best wishes. Abby left the group. Okay. Sunday says, I mean, go for a share the screenshots if you're refusing to share the information feeding into a graph you're generating to claim that's what's happening. Gaza is in the genocide. Honestly, I think that would be wonderful. Okay, I mean, like, if you disagree with him, then disprove his graph. Fuck is this? Whores. In this house. There's some whores in this house. Right, There's hi. There's some whores. Also, OPC, don't welcome. In this house. There's some whores in this house. Hold up. I said, certified freak, seven days a week. Wet ass what? pussy. What? Make that pullout game weak. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you fucking with some wet ass pussy. Bring a bop bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. Give me everything you got for this wet ass pussy. Why does it sound like some kind of super villain speech? This is some anime villain shit. <laughs> What's for dinner? I'm hungry. Um, I don't know. Come. We know president was freaky freaky. Yeah. Beat it up. Catch a charge. Extra large. And extra hard. Put this pussy right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top. I want a ride. I do a Kegel while it's inside. Oh, 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 ow, my ears. Spit in my mouth, look at my eyes. Oh, my ears. The my pussy ears. is wet, come take oh, a ears. dive. Tie me up. Like I'm surprised. Let's role play. I wear a disguise. 
I want you to park that Big Mac truck in this little garage. Make it cream, make me scream out in public, make a scene! I don't cook, I don't clean. What the you, fuck is going on? I got this ring. Hey, j welcome. Also, Lo-Fi, welcome. I, okay, alright. Alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sunday is Sunday is cooler than you to be honest. Okay, you're welcome to think that. I think it's weird of you to threaten to go after someone's job for online debates. Ooh, using his MD to bolster the credibility of the ethnically motivated hack piece of genocide po apology of this distinction. The internet does not make an innocent child of adult. Bro, what, dude. Okay, all right. Why? Why are you so unhinged? What's wrong with you? Why are you so unhinged? Why is it like this? Can you provide examples of him boistering his credibility using him MD? You provide a few concrete examples in Erudite used for education accreditations. He's publishing this under his MD account. That's not enough. Come on. And his pinned tweet expressly says that in his expertise, he's medicine. I'm asking where he claimed that his MD was giving him any added credibility to this matter of geopolitical nature. The title is self-evidently unrelated. Dude, I'm going to say this right now. If anything, Avi's MD and his accreditations makes him even less credible because it just makes him look really insufferable. All right. Avi is so fucking insufferable, dude. Hold on. Avi Biddy, this person. God. Like, like, look at this. Isn't, isn't this guy, like, the definition of a fucking well-established academic? Ugh. Look at this. Gross. Listen, c learn, contribute, and let's all get as close to truth as we can. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. Ugh. Avi MD. Gross. Ugh. Look at this. Ugh. Too much Israeli flags, okay? That's my opinion. This fucking LARPer. Okay. But here's here's the thing, regardless, right? Like, I just don't think it's okay to go after somebody in real life. Regardless. I, I'm gonna tell you this right now. The one time that... <laughs> The one time that he came into stream, into Lo I was watching Loner Box, okay? Innocently watching Loner Box, all right? And unfortunately, unfortunately, fucking Avi called in for a fucking meeting, all right? With Loner Box. And I never thought anybody could be this anti content, but this person made it possible, all right? I like Avi. Stop the cap! You like Avi because he's Jewish. Okay, that's why. Okay, all right. The when you broaden the cap, so what what that's doing is that's broadening the word. It's broadening the category of the word. It's make it's not narrow. Certainly, there are certain construals of rape that are narrow, um, but there are certain construals of rape that are broad. And what comes at the trade off here? Oh God. I'm going to show you guys how insufferable this guy is. Jesus. So that would be like the case of rape where it's construed narrowly, but then really it's the, the type of rape they're talking about is like a power dynamic. Or in the case of like eth ethnic cleansing, it's the ethnic cleansing per se when really it's non per se ethnic. Oh my God. That, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I do like his um, Discord thing. The truth comes out oh, for her disliking Abby. She got passed over over for him. True. I just really don't like pompous Boop. people like these. I just really don't like... Dude. Ugh. 
I'm not even like. I actually do like Present Sunday more than Avi, but so I don't think it's okay for Avi, uh, as for Avi's like fucking job to go on after. I just don't agree with that line whatsoever. When you broaden the category, there's a Dino. God. To make, but it's not clear that the buzzword applies to the target situation. Um, so that would be like the case of rape where it's construed narrowly, but then really it's the, the type of rape they're talking about is like a power. Look, this guy even has his fucking Discord profile picture. Be a motherfucking anime like man, dude. Ugh, ugh, disgusting. Or dynamic. Look or at that. Like this, this fucking MD. MD doctor person has an anime profile picture. Okay. Why? And he's trying to argue unironically for fucking Israel at the same time. It's like that combination, all, that huge combination of shit is just very cringe. Case of like eth ethnic cleansing, it's the ethnic cleansing per se Ugh. when really it's non per se. Oh, ethnic he's so annoying. Um, Wait, I'm so sorry. What, what, where are you uh, showing me this? Do your oh, is general, it down? general chat? Oh, general chat. Okay. Can I ask you a personal question? Uh, yeah, you can I ask Max. Chat. Oh yeah, in the side chat. Face. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? You, you just got pinned. It's mm -hmm. not in the general chat of the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. General chat. Yeah, I see. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, nice. Yeah. And then the third premise is if the buzzword is not narrow, so, um, so then when it's broad. You have an anime thumbnail? Shut the hell up! Don't diss my anime thumbnail. You gotta be, you, you, you have to be based in order to have an anime thumbnail, okay? Because it shows that you're self-aware of having an anime thumbnail, all right? But this Avi person, this person is not self-aware. This person is a dumb, f <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna construed or just not narrowly construed. <laughs> then it's not clear that the buzzword makes the situation wrong, or at least as Ugh. wrong as the connotated, this connotation guy is so the annoying. attempting to do. So that would be like the, ethnic cleansing non per se when people are are taking the content god isn't this guy like the peak of content here isn't this guy like so pro content god just listen to this guy how could anybody watch this guy or listen to this guy oh of ethnic cleansing per se oh. the people take the uh rape as hold hold the person down and and have sex with them versus like oh there's consent but they were oh have a, dude you can construe human shield that way but this it's guy's not so annoying Okay. Like, all oh, this just seemed like I'm looking through it and it just seems like a whole, like it's just a whole bunch of inference work. Not to say there's anything wrong with inference work per se. It's just, I'm like, how, it's like, it's almost like someone, like, it maybe. It's like, it's like, it's like, shut the hell that. up. Okay. And I'm just not seeing how a whole lot of these observations that these reports are, are generating. Do you, do you notice how, how, um, Loner Box? say talks very little and says so much but avi is like he talks so much but says so little and yet lb chose him over you hmm is, is he is avi isn't even a loner box editor I, i'm so, not edit fuck why did i say editor fuck over there like this guy just say talks so much but says so fucking little Ugh. Are in fact. Dude, can you just imagine? I'm sorry. I, I gotta roll. Okay, dude, I just can't imagine making Israel and Palestine your entire thing, okay? Fucking loner box making Israel and Palestine his entire thing. How, how does he not get bored? Like, I tried to make, like, fucking lolly discourse, like, a thing for a little bit, but I got fucking bored. I don't know what else to say. Like, how could you make one topic like this your entire fucking thing? It's so fucking boring. <laughs> Uh, hypothesis okay, that, welcome they're, to uh, that they're deliberately targeting as a matter of policy. I I'll be honest, okay? At least, at least Lonerbox is making bank, right, off of this, which is fair enough. It's your fucking job, right? But the thing is, Avi has 7K subscribers. You ain't making fucking shit off of any of this, okay? This person, this person has a job in real life. Uh, you're, you're Zoomer brain food? I am Zoomer brain, okay? I just don't understand how could you... Okay, guys, 
And here's the thing, it's not like I know nothing about Israel and Palestine as well, because I hopped on that bandwagon when it was going on. I hopped on that fucking bandwagon, I know my fair share of shit, but I just can't imagine anybody investing themselves like this deeply into it whatsoever. Unless you are actually earning like fucking tons of money. Are you familiar with PhDs? Lol, disgusting. They're no, A Cat, you have to understand they're making money with that PhD, okay? Avi isn't making shit. He's just being an internet debate bro. Versus some Oh my god. Else. Dude. Like, okay, they were there were instances of recklessness or there were instances Look of, at this. This is disgusting, um, of, like, filthy of behavior. Individuals like Ugh. fucking up, or there were individuals. Um because like here's the thing, like in any war, there's events where like soldiers do terrible things and they they fuck up. Oh, the soldiers doing terrible. They shut the fuck mm. up. Jesus, it shouldn't okay. have happened. Specifically, did not include the Red Cross in my tweet because mm. um, there there are a couple things. They're, they're much. They tend to be more careful about their wording of their. Dude, even Lonerbox has tuned out at some point. Guys, if I could find that fucking stream where where he talked to Abby, the oh my god. I, I will I will show you guys how tuned out Lonerbox is. This is November 14th, okay? So this is from November 14th. God. November 14th. Because I was there. I was there when it was happening. Oh, also, that, I guess I was in the middle of my drama as well. So, yeah, I guess that happened in the middle of that. God! Hold on. November 14th. Okay, um, October 1st, not the same. Okay, 15. Okay, this one, right? Assistant state. Listen, all right, I just. Oh, wait, that's um, me. What the fuck? Yo, yeah, that's what I said. yo, unexpected, unexpected food shops. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, sorry guys, I'm just having fun at this point. I'm not, I'm not even, <clears throat> this isn't even a segment, guys. Guys, this is not even a segment, okay? None of this was planned content, all right? I'm just having, I'm just having fun, okay? The Gaza School article um, in your uh, stream chat. Yeah, I see. The fuck JSTOCK is talking to? Where the Israelis uh, killed. I'm just curious if you've seen Brothers Keeper and Operation. God, look at Wick, that ugly fuck. Said there hasn't been all. God, it's so gross what? and ugh. Okay. Well, we're being funded by Iran. That's. Where am I? Uh, I'm just curious if you've seen. You fucked up. Wait, I clicked right on me. Where am I? Just a, oh, I mean, she 200 among whom this so if you action with the same you, right? B, then I lose. We have to ask us, it comes at the trade off of a connotative failure. Oh, I... yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so here's when Avi, here's when Avi was fucking talking to, um. <clears throat> Do you think straight array is attractive? She's all right. I think she, uh, nah, I don't think she's very attractive actually to me, but I have, um, <clears throat> I have a type. I mean by connotative failure is just that the connotation that that word is. So this is like, this is not so erudite reacting to loner box, talking to Avi. Did you watch Stargon 2? I did actually. Is giving off is something like oh really really bad it's sort of thing that is bad in the sense like look look at loner box he's tuning out he doesn't know what the fuck is going on sense that you held someone down at gunpoint and you you, you fucked up or something look at how bored he is but 
Also, look at chat. Look, look at chat. Look, look at chat. Just look at it. Hold on. Um, Let it play. In reality, look. He's here. He's here. Okay, 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 okay. There's all sorts of different types of things that one. God, can he's so boring. Person down and and have sex with them versus like, oh, there's consent, but there was a power dynamic. Mm -hmm. Look, people in the chat is literally just going. Is bro still talking? Deep colonized chat. Philosophy major moment. Not even guys. You have to be kind of like in that kind of um. You know. Oh, I'm so bored. I'm gonna watch Loner Box Zone, dude. Loner Box at least is like a comfort streamer. You know, this guy's a comfort streamer. You tune in and you let his voice wash over you. But Avi doesn't even have a comforting voice. Okay, he's just fucking cringe. All right, like if you have to listen to anybody talk about Israel and Palestine, at least listen to Loner Box. Okay, but yeah, it, it, like just look. Even Loner Box's audience, and I wouldn't expect Loner Box's audience to complain about anything because Loner Box does a whole bunch of nothing. On stream all the fucking time. So the fact that Loner Box, Loner Box's audience is bored of Avi, that's accomplishment. That's a fucking accomplishment. Okay, cringe. What is okay? What is this philosophy one hundred one bullshit? Lol. Oh my god. E lost four hundred viewers already since this guy started his essay. <laughs> all right, dude. Look at this. Ugh. Disgusting. Putrid. Okay. Like, so, just look at chat. Just look at chat. That's guys. the just general chat. problem I have. I, I wanted to know if... Um, oh, God, and I guess the general problem is how boring you are. Jesus. That, there was one... Um, so, okay. So, this is, so, that's one thing I wanted to just run by you. Because this is, like, one thing I see. I see a lot of buzzwords being used. Um, I'll be here later night. Good. Okay, good night, food jobs. I mean, Max. This feels so forced. Me? No! I'm actually unironically annoyed by him. I'm just going off, okay? Let me go off. In this, uh, surrounding this conflict. I'm unironically um, annoyed. <laughs> and, and by the way, like, certain usages of buzzwords on the other side fall prey to this, too. Um, so, for example, there's a difference between, like, the word term human shield, right? Hmm. There's a difference between human shield being... Um, uh-huh. Also, look! Also, look! Uh, me? No! I even... <laughs> I'm not okay i swear to god i swear to god i'm not like forcing anything okay if i if i was actually bored of something i would click off and find other content to watch okay um <clears throat> if i was bored i would click off find other content to watch and i've done that so many fucking times all right so no i'm actually <laughs> so bored. also look um my name is not so aired. I am a thieving fake psychologist a theater girl and my life is a scam and present Sunday is far better looking than me and loner box doesn't like me. Maybe I should decolonize myself. <laughs> They're like talking via notepad. They're talking via notepad. Ask him if wearing a butt plug in public is violating other people's consent since they don't know. <laughs> He's so bored. He's talking with not so erudite via like fucking notepad, dude. A terrorist firing in Jeez. a populated area, Let's go. populated civilian area, versus a hair about that also accounts for bad things happening. It's just in a less bad way than you want it to be. You're a skinwalking queeman tonight? No. How? <clears throat> That's all. Or less bad way than you're reporting it as. Yeah, and I think, is this why you trust the Red Cross? Because the, what they'll say is just something like the mission has found that there's no plot. The more the cost pragmatic. We don't know. It doesn't seem to have had a military use. Question about military intelligence all at the same fucking time. At this point. Oh my God, Lodenbox, chill. Wait, I'll, I'll prove that I'm not forcing it. I'll prove that I'm not forcing it. I will not chill. I hate Because there's this... <laughs> there was a... From the you... Fuck. I suppose I am right now, because I don't know what... In the... Charitability... Where the guys get additional area in the West Bank that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Just get the entire world to build a second guy. 
Anyway, sorry, yeah. did you, um, I'm probably going to jump off and do some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or something like that. Sorry, not like that. Just south <laughs> of the West Bank. And look, been... look, I'm there in chat. I'm there in chat. You said you want to go, but he is still going. I was there in chat. Look, look. You said you want to go, but he is still going. Oh my God, Lonerbox, you said you have to go, but he didn't even acknowledge it. I was there, hating on him in chat. In the okay. negative, right? Yeah, well, not a second guy. <laughs> well, I mean, look, yeah. okay. It looks in the same thing, like the restriction of movement. So, God, it's good talking to you. All right. Um, okay, and watch. Um, there was one. Yeah, I have to jump off. The person I really wreck. Say. Oh. A pilgrim to girls at house parties. <laughs> Dog, okay. Okay, cool. okay. Okay. Food shops. Wait, You're not gonna wait. misuse these perms, are you? Okay. So I just jumped in. Okay. You planned this? No, I did fucking not. I'm being genuine. I'm not fucking forcing this. I'm not forcing this segment. Okay. Fuck you guys. I'm not forcing the segment. Here, here, watch. I literally jumped in to complain. Wait, hold on. This is the one time, okay? Uh, Say one thing that you learned from that conversation. Just one thing. What did I learn from that conversation? Oh, I learned that my initial instinct about the Amnesty International reports being bullshit are actually just very simple and straightforward. And I don't need to read 200 pages of fucking anonymous human rights morons sawing out over shit they don't know anything about. Yeah. They're just making up their own conclusions. Okay. All right. Fair enough. You mean you didn't learn something? Oh, she just left. Okay. Coward. All right. Whatever. Um. Okay. Dude. Okay. All right. I, I've, I've complained enough about Abby. Okay. All right. I don't know why I'm falling that hard. I don't know. There's something there's something about these kinds of guys that fucking tick me off, dude. Okay? Alright. God, I fucking hate boomers like these. I I have a very listen, no, again, like you can't tell me that I'm fucking forcing myself to skinwalk Queeman back in like mid-November. You can't, okay? Unless you're saying that I planned all of this and fucking retroactively wore Queeman's like fucking skin back then. As I was spurging out in chat. Do you ever actually discuss with him on stream or just jump in randomly to call him a goat boy? Uh... No, I have actually uh, talked with Lonerbox before. Like, discuss with him actual things. Yeah. Hold on, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. Okay? Patience, my friends. Okay. So, I got linked this by Abaddon. Apparently, this is what's going on between, um... Hinduism, W or L? Religion is a L, in general. I think it's very cringe to believe in something without evidence. Originally, I was going to do an interview, but I later decided I wasn't comfortable rehashing the whole thing again. I'm trying to work through it. Hunter Avalon, all right? I replied saying no thing. Okay, so if you guys don't know, Hunter Avalon is somebody who was once a hard conservative um, in his younger days. He got a lot of his subscribers that way. And then he turned heel. People called him a grifter, even though I think that his story is pretty believable in terms of... Um, in terms of turning into a progressive uh, sock dem, destiny kind of person. Um, evidence or proof? Uh, the fuck? Don't people kind of use them as the same word, or am I wrong here? Unless you're talking about some kind of autistic debate bro definition, because I'm not. I'm using it colloquially. There is enough evidence to believe in that religion, but through grace we can elevate it. Do you actually believe that? Do you actually believe that? Or do you or are you trolling me? Haha. 
Our, also, uh, Lauren De Laguna is somebody who is um, a bridge of mine, but at the same time, she's... I don't know why she's blacklisted from DGG. Does anybody know why? Any leakers? I don't know why, but... Yeah. <clears throat> but also with um, Lauren De Laguna, uh, I think a lot of people believe that she actually cheated on her bar exam. And that's why she had to move to Florida in order to do the bar exam there because she cheated. But I guess that's the prevailing narrative, right? But the thing is, is that it seems like after all of that, she did actually pass the bar exam legitimately. So good for her. She's also very autistic. She's also, um, I guess the most notable part is that she is the... Um, ex-girlfriend of Martin Screlly, the farmer bro. Evidence is a suggestion that something may be true, like a bloody shoe. Proof is an equation that proves something is true, usually through... Okay. Them both. I guess. I don't know. But I'm using it colloquially. Okay, well, let's just get into this. I don't know what this is. Okay, so originally I was going to do an interview, but later I decided I wasn't comfortable rehashing that whole thing again. I'm trying to work through it. I replied saying thanks, but no, and that's replying, uh, and that's replying nastily. Okay, confusing. Um, this girl is having psychotic break from reality. Read the text compared to her delusional interpretation of events. Um, and she asked me hours after the shooting if she could do the interview. School shooting. Kidding. All right, Lauren. You and Holly. So Holly is uh, Hunter Avalon's um, current girlfriend. All right, as you guys well know, Hunter Avalon and his girlfriend was involved in an active shooting event. Um, that's what happened. Destiny wouldn't say exactly. He alluded to something weird stuff and allies and enemies post-divorce and how she acted. The fuck? Didn't Lauren De Laguna defend Destiny after his divorce? That happened. Confusing. Alright. I really don't want to be on the show and neither does Holly. I appreciate the invite, but nah. Wait, did... Did Hunter Avalon promise to be on the show? Before? But then now is denying? But also, if it's one week from now, I think it's okay to cancel, right? Okay, all right. I really don't want to be on the show, and neither does Holly, but I appreciate the invite, but nah. Okay, I was just seeing how you were. Is everything good? We used to be good friends. I don't know what happened. Uh. I was admitted to the bar. Okay, wait, what the fuck? Friday, 4.31 p.m. Monday, 9.15 p.m. I was admitted to the bar yesterday. Wait, when was this? February 29th? Okay, this is like about two weeks ago at this point. Less than two weeks ago at this point. Um, I see why you have so few friends if this is how you treat them. I seriously can't imagine having someone lend me money, talk to me at my lowest points, find me a job just to turn around to you. <laughs> what is going on here? Yo, crazy X-Fives. Jesus. Okay. Sorry, Lauren, if you're watching this, okay, I'm just evaluating this honestly from my perspective, okay? Um, January 29th, February 22nd. I don't want to be on the show, right? Dude, why, why double text and then triple text with like, oh, something aggressive, like lashing out, cringe. So this is something here. What is this going on? Ben Shapiro's biceps follows me. The fuck? Alright, who the fuck? What the fuck was this one? Why are they obligated to talk about traumatic situation as content for you because you helped pay for a trip and had connections? Kind of sounds like you weren't doing it as a friend. Hmm. Hmm. What is going on here? So I got said this in DMs. Okay, I'm just going to say this right now. So Lauren paid... So not my words, okay? So Lauren paid for Hunter to go on the Jubilee. They were friends. 
But then Lauren wanted to be the first to get the scoop from Hunter about when he almost died. When that guy came to shoot him and Holly. And so Lauren was pissy with him when he wouldn't answer her DMs. Okay, so Lauren wanted to be the first to get the scoop from Hunter. Is that true? Interesting. And like Hunter didn't want to go on her stream and talk about that stuff. And he and he was busy moving and stuff, but Lauren is a pushy bitch. So yeah, anyway, not my words, another person's words. So yeah, this link shows the first conversation and the shit that comes after it where D Hunter lays out how shitty Lauren is. She looks so bad. Okay, girl, let me know when you need more gossip. I'm here for you. <laughs> okay, 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 all right, all right, chill. Okay. All right. Okay, so Hunter Avalon says, um... Originally, I was going to do an interview. I later wasn't comfortable rehashing that whole thing again. I'm just trying to work through it. Okay, all right. So, Hunter Avalon has a live true crime scenario that happened. All right, I guess. And then, Lauren wants to get the inside scoop. I'm sure. And then, um... Yeah, I guess uh, Lauren took it to Twitter. Okay. So, this post was deleted by the post author. The fuck? Can anybody fetch me the original fucking post? So, Ben Shapiro's bicep says, or Conroe says, Why are they obligated to talk about a traumatic situation? <laughs> the traumatic situation, I guess, uh, regarding the shooting. As content for you because you helped pay for a trip and has had connections. Kind of sounds like you weren't doing it as a friend. Lauren De Laguna says, I was doing it for content. He could have just said no. So Conroe says, you're holding it over his head because you paid for a trip and made connections for him. And when some freak thing happens to him, your thought is your own personal gain and he's the bad friend. Laguna says, if that's how you interpret it, I just asked if he wanted to do an interview. And I asked that well after checking in on him. He responded so nastily. So... Conroe says, without posting logs of the interactions or a story about it, it's very hard to believe you. The way you frame this still makes you look awful. All right. De Laguna says this. Post the logs. This is with Hunter. My understanding is that Lauren got Hunter the PV job that made connections through Pixie, but I'm not sure 100%. Maybe. Uh, uh, like for, for a claim like that, I would probably need proof. Sorry. Like a clip or something. But anyway, Hunter. So Hunter says, I really don't want to be on the show. And neither does Holly. I appreciate the invite, but not. Okay, so this is a different worded thing. This is a this is a different worded thing than from what Hunter revealed. So this is a different conversation, I guess. This is Friday, 431. God, we need our timeline. February 29th. All right. So Deguna says, okay, I was just seeing how you were. Is everything good? We used to be good friends. I don't know what happened. I was admitted to the bar. Oh, no, this is the same thing. No, no, no. This is the same conversation. This is the same conversation, guys. I seriously can't imagine having someone lend me money, talk to me at my lowest points on finding a job, just to turn around and treat them like crap. That's terrible. I feel for your soul. You are a genuinely bad person. <laughs> Hunter could just be busy. And also, like, if he says that it was a traumatic event and he doesn't want to talk about it, that's his prerogative. That's his feelings. Okay, what are you going to do? Debate him out of his feelings? <laughs> What's going on here? Lauren! Okay. I seriously couldn't imagine someone lending me the money, talk to me at my lowest points, just to turn around and treat them like crap. That's terrible. I feel so you're a genuinely bad person. Hunter could just not want to do it. Exactly. Yes. 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 Okay. I'm getting sent something. Okay. I'm apparently being told that there's no way Lauren got anyone a job. <laughs> okay. Pixie reportedly needs a lot of prompting to follow up. Possibly she is claiming credit for prompting Lauren. Okay. Gotcha. But someone like Hunter was always going to be invited to PV. So no, it's not even getting the job. Because I would imagine that you have to go through a lot of clearance and a lot of approval in order to go through that in additionally, right? And in addition to that, since, you know, since Hunter Avalon is such a big fucking creator, right? Since Hunter Avalon is like a figure with clout. Well, he's fallen off, okay? He's fallen off. 
by far okay he's definitely fallen off but the thing is is that you know regardless it, it would make him a good addition to pv so i don't think i don't think he was <laughs> i don't think he she got him any job okay so i think that's entirely you know reasonable to assume that you know it, it, I, don't, I don't think i don't think pixie or um lauren should be credited So anyone can get you a job at PV. It's just introducing someone that's considered helpful, getting them. Here's the thing: if Lauren, since Hunter Allen was this fucking big, like I just can't imagine like him not getting a job at PV. You know what I mean? If he says that, you know what, I'm gonna step up to the job. If if Counterpoints can get a job at PV, Hunter Allen can get a job at PV. Okay, without connections, without connections. All right. He's not a big creator. No, okay, no, it's the name clout. Because everybody remembers who the fuck Hunter Avalon is. It's not about being a big creator. It's about the name clout, right? That clout is immeasurable. You can't measure that shit, right? Um. Okay. Oh, Hunter responded. Okay. Has it ever occurred that maybe I've been busy? Yeah. The way you're entitled, acting entitled to my time, and treating me like I'm a bad person for just not replying, it's bothersome. I also never lend someone money or be there for someone at their lowest and then weaponize that later on. This is entirely the correct thing to say, okay? This is entirely the correct thing to say. Okay. This is an entirely reasonable response. You're a fucking piece of shit. What? Hello? <laughs> Lauren! What are you doing? Lauren! Ugh. Okay, if I was Lauren and I was sent this, okay? If I was Lauren and I was sent this, I would say something along the lines of, Hey, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to weaponize it. Sorry. My, I let my feelings go out of control and I didn't mean to be hurtful. Simple as that. Okay. That's the emotionally mature thing to say. <laughs> Rip. You're a fucking piece of shit. Okay. So Hunter says, I fear for your soul if you think I'm a genuinely bad person and for not replying. If you're that entitled to my time, it reveals you're not a friend at all. Yeah. No. He's just right here. He's just correct. He's just correct. And here's the thing. I'll say this much, okay? I'll put it on my word that I'm a credible and honest person. I'm oh, sorry, not... Okay. This doesn't contribute anything to my credibility. But honesty, yes? Because I have a bridge of Lauren. And I don't have a bridge of Hunter. I don't think I have a bridge of Hunter. So, you know. I'm willing to... I think I'm willing to go out of my way to criticize Lauren for this. For your soul, if you think I'm a genuinely bad person for not replying, if you're in that in time to my friend, time, if reveals you're not a friend at all. Yeah, because it comes out as cloud chasing, right? <clears throat> this makes you look even worse, says Conroe in reply to the leaks. Okay. I can't believe, okay, how could Lauren assume that that makes her look good? But here's the thing, it might be Lauren just kind of going like, you know what? I just want to be honest. I just want to be honest. Let the people judge for themselves. Okay. Fair enough. Sure. And then Conor says he literally even states that you're weaponizing, um, helping him out when he was at a low point. You're the first to burn the friendship bridge and start with the insults law. How are you not self-aware of how bad you look, Lamau? Okay. Okay. All right, and this is someone being... All right, cool. Interesting. Jesus. Okay, hold on. I'm messaging Lauren De Laguna, seeing if she wants to come on. Lol, uh, Lolly Grinder, welcome. Yeah, I'm trying to see if Lauren, uh, Lauren De Laguna is willing to come on or not. We'll see if we have uh, some content tonight. In terms of discourse. <clears throat> 